What's up, everybody? Blue Raven here today with some Dark Souls 3 Prepare to Bleed Edition. Well, it's the Fire Phase Edition, but you know what I mean. We're doing our bleed build, and um, I left off. I was going into the Undead Settlement to get a very special weapon that is probably, I, I would think, probably be the best bleed weapon in the game. Um, it's definitely in the top five, or top three, I would say, so let's, uh, take a look. I did get it, and I will show you how to get it, and I will tell you how long it's going to take you to get it. So, sorry that every time I start recording, it sounds like somebody's taking a leak behind me. It's actually my fish tank. It's quite loud. So, I have the weapon, as you can see. It's a great sword. It's the Flameberg. And I have it at plus three and I have it refined. I was reading online that the best way, the best, the most damage you can get out of the Flameberg, um, two handed um, physical damage is over 500, which is really good. It's a great sword, so it should be uh, a high damage, but it also has good bleed too. So I was going to originally put bleed on it, but I was reading that refined works better. So on that note, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how I got this weapon. You can see I'm using Luca Teal's armor. The other part of my build that I want to talk about really quickly that I don't want to forget is you want to make sure you're using the Chloranthi Chlorath ring. I always say Chlorathi, but it's Chloranthi. There's an N there. Uh, the Chloranthi ring. Uh, you want that recovery. You want that stamina recovery because, again, uh, one of our biggest things that we're working on is endurance, dex, and luck. Those are going to be our three main stats that we're going to be worrying about. Viger is going to be the last thing we're going to be I mean, we'll probably get up to 20 and then we'll leave it there for a long time um this isn't a traditional playthrough as far as you're going to see every level of the game what you're going to see is different parts of the game um as i'm playing through it with this character and then eventually you'll start seeing some pvp and seeing is this a good quality pvp build is it or is it just a good uh pve build we're going to find that out in this playthrough so thank you everybody who watched the previous video uh this video will be done uh i'm doing it on monday it will be up monday so tomorrow uh season of opulence comes out for destiny 2 i will be i won't be live streaming i will be pre-recording that and i will be doing a giveaway on that video so if you want a chance to win a k6 statue make sure you watch tomorrow's video um to find out how to win and on that note, back to Dark Souls 3. So you want to go, the, to get the Flameberg, you want to go to uh, the Cliff Underside in the Undead Settlement. Now, the thing I want to talk about is, while we're transitioning there, is you're going to be, there's two enemies you can get this from in this area. The weapon can drop from. They're both the Thralls, or like EMB likes to call them the Five Cocks, and um, they are uh, easy to kill. Um, easy to find. Um, there's one here, and then the, where's the other one at? See, it's not that guy, is it? Maybe there's three. There could be three here. Because I'm trying to think of the third. The other one is there's. Um, as you see, I'm hollowed out. Um, that was another thing I did. Um, because I'm gonna kill the chick that that guy summons after he dies and take her um, katana because her katana has bleed too so I'm going to have all the bleed weapons in the game and then I'm going to love max them all out and we're going to see which is truly the best one um, I can't remember where the third one is off the top of my head uh, he could be um, oh he's over where the giant shoots the arrows so that's the second one I don't know if the third one's here we'll find out I'll, but this is the one you want to farm because he's the easiest one to get to. So you come up here. Kill these two guys. Come over here. Kill this guy. Right? Fall off of this uh, this onto this roof. Come down here. You want to run over here. Run across this bridge. And if you remember, there's a thrall that drops down right here. He has a flame berg on him. This guy right here. And you want to kill this guy. Now, the downfall to killing this guy... Is this going to take you a long time? A lot of people who have played Dark Souls 3, there's people who have thousands of hours in the Dark Souls 3 and don't have this weapon for the simple fact that it has a 5% drop rate 
off of these guys. So these are the guys that'll drop them. There's another, there's another enemy that drops it too, but they all, every single enemy that has the flame bird only has a 5% chance of dropping it. So, hold on a second. So, um, I had to clear up my nose there. Uh, they sound a little congested. Um, so, yeah, they have a 5% drop rate. So, you're gonna be, you're, I, it took me, I killed that guy probably 55, 60 times before he finally dropped the Flameberg for me. So, um, at the end of this build, at the end of the build, anybody who doesn't have this sword that wants it and they don't want to farm for it, let me know. We'll get together online and I will give it to you. I will happily give this one away. So, you don't have to farm for it if you just want to watch the video and then afterwards try it, try it out for yourself. I'll show you how good it is though. Let's see. Come on. There he goes. Boom. Bleed. Boom. Bleed. Every two hits, every second hit causes bleed with this weapon. That's what's so good about it is the bleed damage. Now, I'm already done with the Undead Settlement, so I don't actually need to be here. We are going to go ahead and progress on, and we're going to play probably about 20 or 30 minutes of Dark Souls 3 with this weapon. Um, I want to... Uh, look at that guy. Ooh, that's a cool sword. I wonder what sword that is. That is a cool looking sword. I don't even recognize that sword. Um, but I'm going to try to get every bleed weapon. There is another bleed weapon in this level. And it's from the... Uh, what the hell is their names? Hold on. Because uh, it wants to go... Rah! The e Evangelicus. Their weapon, the big ass... Uh, freaking bat with, with nails on it. Their weapon... Um, has bleed as well so we'll, I will be farming to get that from them as well not that guy uh, right over here I can show you what I'm talking about there's one right over here she is right where is she she must be she's coming up right here watch And, and, and the other thing that you got to consider too is as your luck increases, the item, the, one, the weapons that you need to farm for are going to be easier to get because the, your, your, the chances of them dropping are going to be a lot better. All right, anyways, let's go where we need to go. Um, and you're going to cross so many Evangelicus to the chance. So I'm not farming that one right now. If it drops, it drops. Or a sacrifice, that's where we're at. If it drops, yay. If it doesn't, I will farm it eventually, and then I'll level it up. And it's a very slow-moving weapon, so um, as far as um, it, I have been hit by it, and my bleed meter goes up really fast. So I'm assuming it's a two-hit bleed weapon as well. Um, but I'm also going to do the Dark Moon Covenant. I'm going to try to complete the full Dark Moon Covenant with this character. Um, I've never completed it, so got. Um, Two hit mainly because it's a great sword and it's bleed shiving stone I, I I have this I have this OCD about I even when I'm doing playthroughs where I don't so certain items I don't need I still have to go and do everything in the game because I have this OCD about myself I don't know why it's just the way I am I don't know why you come over here. Is there, I know there's an item in like New Game Plus where you drop down in, or it's like New Game Plus 2 or maybe where you drop down and there's a plus 2 ring. One of the plus 2 rings is over here. Mm. Oh, I got his scythe. Oh, and the, I also got the great scythe, which is also another bleed weapon, but it's just a 30. So, I will show you that. So, uh, here's this. And this was 39. So, the scythe, uh, the great scythe of, uh, the Cov uh, Corvin great scythe is a 39, which is better than my Flameberg, which is only 36. It has a higher bleed, a lower base damage, but better scaling. See, that's the thing I'm looking at, too, is that the scaling. See, this is a D in strength and a C in dex. This is a D and D now. However, there is a catch to these two weapons. This one has a much bigger hitbox 
than this one. So well, I'm going to show you what I mean. So uh, if you look at this, from where the hilt is, where my hand is, to that part where it curves up, all that wiggly stuff is my hitbox for this weapon. So when I swing, anything that hits that wiggly part, it's getting full damage. This, the only way I can hit full damage is anybody who's hit with the end of this weapon. So I have to hit you with the end of it. You have to get hit with the end of it. Now, scythes are really good because you can hit from range. They have great range on them. Oops. Why am I... There we go. And they got... And they're... And that looks like a cool fucking scythe too, by the way. Um, I'll be leveling that up as well. But, as I said, it has a lower hit box. And, like I said, what I mean by is my chances of hitting and getting full damage from the weapon are lower than if I with then than they are with this weapon. This weapon I'm pretty much guaranteed full hit as long as they're not like hugging me. Wait. This is so this was what I was talking about. So over here, if you look down um I'm not dropping down there because we're gonna get the item anyways, but if this was new game plus two, right where that blood stain is, there's there would be an item there. We're going to go over here and get Because we can go over here and get the item. Anyways, so. I think we can. Hey, we got to fight Machete Chick. Let's see how we do against Machete. Machete! Ow. Not very good. She killed me. I was trying to parry her. <laughs> and she died. I don't know if she's going to be dead when I come back in, but uh, we'll see. I didn't even swing. I was trying to parry. I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a visceral. Um, the Leo ring might be good with this, too, just for when you do counter hits. Might be really good with this weapon. I don't know yet. I haven't figured out what the other rings I want. I think I might RTS this, this build. So we'll see. Now, the reason it took three hits is because, again, when I did that spinning attack, and I'm getting all their weapons, uh, when I did that spinning attack, I hit him with the hilt of the weapon. So it didn't it didn't do full damage. See, and and if you're paying attention, you can slow it down right as I plunge attack. When I plunge attack, the hilt of my weapon hit him first, and you saw a little bit of his health, then, my, then the rest of my weapon plunge attacked him. That's what killed him. So, um... Uh, see, their bleed isn't even that high compared to some of the other weapons. Up oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, that's why you go after the other game. That's why you go after the other game, otherwise they'll come behind you. Okay. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, let's go. See if she's dead, cause she did fall off. Yep. I didn't even have to kill her. She fell off. Butcher's butcher's knife. This is a butcher's butcher's knife. Does not bleed. Butcher's knife gives you life back. That's what's so nice about it. Uh, yeah, no bleed. A scalian strength. That's a really good strength weapon. Um, yeah, you sharpen the blade. It gives you on successful hits. It gives you health back. I still have uh, uh, the giant machetes. So anybody wants one of those and do wield them, let me know. Uh, we might switch that. If that's lighter, we might switch to that. That's heavier, okay. That is lighter. That's not. And that's not. Okay. We're trying to stay as light as we can. Because when we move, we want to use as least stamina as possible by moving. And, um... And, uh, so, because the more swings we can get in our weapon, the better. The more bleed, more chances we can bleed people. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Hell, everything can bleed, so we can kill everything. You're dead as fuck. Excuse me. Gotta get to you. Thank you. Oh yeah, 
that's right. Then you could come around and you could have jumped and plunge attacked on these guys. Mm. Cool. Now we're going over here. We're going to drop down this side. Again, I don't know why I'm going to get some of these things. I just, I don't remember every item. Whoa. Every item. I don't remember every item, so going to get items. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I can use that, or no, I don't need to use that. We may end up using like a mage set just to. The downfall to using lighter armor, obviously, is you take uh, damage more. That's for sorceries. I did let her out. So I can give her her tomes. Go ahead and chug. There's a guy right here, isn't there? Yeah. Kobe! You're dead. You're dead. Shut up. This weapon is just plus three, and it's just absolutely wrecking everything I'm hitting. I mean, this area, I remember when I first played Dark Souls 3, this area was tough to get through. Um, mainly because I didn't have the right weapons, but I mean, this weapon is that good. I was able to get through here with very, very little problems. So let's go ahead and light this bonfire. Talk to them. Uh, all right. There we go, blue sentinels. Oh, I think I will be reading it in a way. I do, do, do. Have one. We'll be opening it in a way. We'll be opening it in a way. Okay. Now let's head back to the fire link, and I don't know. Uh, I'll make this a little bit longer video for fun. We'll do. We'll. We'll. We'll see if I can't get all the way through and fight uh, the Crystal Sage in this video. I just need to do a couple things here. Um, the, the, uh, the invader dude um, that kills that chick that's up here, I killed him. I always kill him. I hate that dude. Mm. I like his hat. I am serious. I doubt. I doubt. Okay, cool. I'm going to be doing your quest. I'm doing her quest line this one, this one through. Right. You should be giving me a heavy gem. Thank I you. Agree. The guy that's up here. The four finger whatever the hell his name is yeah that's usually propped up here i killed him oh wait is his his hat's not lighter his hat's heavier than this one right yeah it, plus it kind of looks kind of cool um i did send uh rat dude out to pillage and plunder and he's back dang it you're back already you know I'm well. I oh no! I, well. I didn't. I guess it, it didn't save me. Okay, go. <laughs> now, now go. Purchase. Um. Yeah, there's nothing I need from him right now. We're gonna go over, talk to him, get our pyromancy flame real quick. There we go. And then we go over here and talk to her and give her tomes. Now I, I don't know if you're supposed to purchase every miracle for her for, from her to get her to move to get her storyline to move. I don't know what it takes to get her to for her to move over to where uh, Udix Gandara's room is and what's his name takes her there and, and he calls and he calls you out and wants to fight you. I don't know what it takes. I don't even care. But the the, the thing is that you want to make sure you do if you're look if you're wanting to do a bleed build, um, and you don't know which weapon you want to make sure you do his quest to do his so he dies so she shows up because she's carrying. If you see, she's got a katana, and it, and we will be fighting her eventually. Um, Uh, just not right now because uh, um, 
should get my Estus ring. I need, I need to get that too, because that would be good for this too, just so we can have extra heals, because we, we're, we're such light armor. Uh, I know she's not on the 20k yet. Alright, anyways, uh, the reason I'm not fighting her yet is she will kick my butt. She's pretty tough. Uh, as far as the NPCs in here, that you when you kill them, um, she's pretty tough. Uh, I want to get to maybe like a plus six flame bird before I go ham on her. When I do that, then I can I could probably really get get in get in on that ass. Um, there is a mod for Bloodborne that somebody came up with. It's called the Onslaught mod, where it like makes three of everything. Um, I haven't figured out how to make it work yet. Um, once I do, I will be putting that up for you guys. It's summer, so it's lo this is the slow time for video games, which you would think it'd be the opposite. All the kids are out of school. This would be the bit big time to drop all the big AAA titles, but mm, nope. Hey, stop that! Stop that! Oh, what am I doing? Why am I even messing with these guys? We can. See, it's been a while since I've done this. We can go over here. And just drop down here, right? No. We do need to fight those guys. It's the next area I want to drop. Oh, damn it. Big fall damage anyways. Chug. <laughs> so, the way I've always played this swamp is I always do everything to the left. And I work my way around to the right. And then when I do... Um, Baron's Keep, is that what that's called over there? Where it's the Poison Swamp? That's when I'll come back and I'll clear this right side. I've just That's just always the way I've done it. I don't ever miss an item, but... Eh, it's just the way I do it. Man, if the Dark Souls 1, I wouldn't have taken fall damage right there. One hits. I like this. That's why I like it. Because you got a whole group of them right there, I gotta clear out. No poison from you. I'm pretty sure I can kill him too. He's not here yet because I'm not embered. He's a lot stronger here than he is in the other one, but we gotta kill him because we're doing the uh, the Moonlight Covenant storyline, so we have to kill him here. So just FYI for anybody who's uh, never done the Moonlight Covenant, uh, I'm also clearing that in this one. So if you're if you do what I do, um, you have to get uh, so in the here I'll show you. I don't, I don't want to rest right now, but in the Undead Settlement, the one, the part with the bridge, there's that part with the bridge. Uh, the, there's an in invader. When you, you have to be Embered, he'll invade you. You have to kill him there, and then you'll get the chick to show up at Firelink, and you have to talk to her, and then you have to be Embered, which we can, I'll do that. I'll fight him right now. Let's, oh, wait, I got Embered right here. But I am. The only problem with being Embered in here and being online is people like to invade here. This is a high invasion area, so we need to do this, do this quick. So he'll invade you. This guy right here will invade you. Now you can put, and then now you summon him as a purple phantom. Yeah, Hodrick. And he has a flameberg too. His is not as strong as mine. Ouch. I'm dead. Stop. Nope. I was trying to parry. Oh. 
Ow! I fucking overhead. I have fucking overhead. It's real. I think that's his suit. Uh. 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 Yeah, I know I can kill him. I used all my asses to do it. You want to kill him here, though. Okay? You want to kill him here. Uh, because now, if I go back to... Which I don't mind. The only thing that respawns is those two guys and a dog that I have to worry about on my side. Um, she'll say she has new dialogue for us now, or she might not even be there now. She might have moved. Um, but her full storyline, her, her full story arc, gives you some really good weapons, a great shield, um, and if you get once you join the Dark Moon Covenant, and if you complete it, you get some really cool spells. Yeah, she's not here no more. Uh, she'll be back. And she'll thank us for what we did. It's her grandfather, so. Uh, travel. Now that I figured out my editing software, I actually have a really cool video that I got, I'm working on it. It's going to be a completely edited video, and then I'm going to voice over, and hopefully it comes out the way I want it to. I haven't actually done it yet, so... I was blocking! Whatever. And... I totally waved on that one. So, I want to go this way. I will fight the crab and everything on my way around, but right, we, I always, I, this is the path I always take. You're dead. Here's my Estus. That's the main reason I go this way, is because it's an Estus, and it's easier to do this, this way. Because... Look at that, three hits on these guys. These guys are a pain in the ass normally. And my second hit bled him. One, bleed, you're dead. That's how good this weapon is. The high bleed rate. And it has a stun with the, oh, the overhead. As you can saw with Hodrick was kept doing this. That's a stun on a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies, you're going to you're gonna pop them on the... You're going to smack them onto the ground with that. Because this is a great sword. A lot of people forget that about the Flameberg. Is that it is a great sword still. that song or I'm humming it I'm not singing it I'm wrecking shit with my flame bird if you guys like these videos too by the way um, these different videos I have all kinds of different ideas for builds for Dark Souls 3 Dark Souls 2 Dark Souls 1 uh, just let me know that this or and blood well bloodborne's kind of limited on its builds but um, and I want to do the onslaught thing with bloodborne but as far as the Dark Souls games are concerned one through three if you have an idea of a build you'd want me to do leave me a comment let me know and I'll definitely uh, if I if I decide to do your build I will let you know, I will give you a shout out on YouTube I'll say this build was inspired by and I'll say your name. No, go, go, okay. So wake me up before you go, go. Ow. Drink. See, if I had the SS, that's fl uh, that one drink would fill me completely up if I had the SS ring on there. Ah! Did he fall down? He did fall down. Now the only back downfall, downfall, downfall to bleed is there are certain enemies who don't bleed. They just don't. Uh, skeletons don't bleed. So when you go into um, um, Lost Isleth, uh, that's not what it's called in this game, but that's what it is. Um, uh, so normally what I do. 
real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. Normally what I do, once I clear this area, I go back here and I summon um, the NPC to help me clear the rest of the area. Oh, did you hear that crit? Boom. This guy right here. I normally summon him. Uh, Egon of Kareem. Now, normally I summon him before I fight um, Hodrick, too, because I'll have him help me kill Hodrick, but um, I, I don't really summon him anymore. I'm just showing you what I, I used to do back in the day when I first played through the game. And to make it easier, you just summon him and have him come with you, and he helps you kill the crabs, just like that. Uh, the two and the two NPCs that are over here, I have, I'd have him. I don't think I have enough intelligence to get this guy. Um. Well, this is what this is my view. How indeed, how quickly so that in the well, very oh, cool. I did have enough. Sweet. Um, but with you know, been playing the game for a long time, I know the cheeses with those guys, how you can make them fall down the ladder. So, um. You don't want to fall down if if you have him. Oh, go down here. There, no, he'll he'll come to us. Um, yeah, you can just make him fall down there. But if you have him, then you can just fight him one on one. That's what the throwing. That's why I always have throwing knives. I always try to keep throwing knives in my inventory. All that all that good stuff. Uh, we should be getting a yellow finger invasion too. You can also get yellow finger as a as a helpful MP. MP and bleh, NPC, I just forget how to do it. I, th I think you don't in have him invade here. If you don't get him to invade here, if you skip his invasion here, then in in Farron's keep, then he won't, and then he'll be a summon when you open the door. Oh, I'm being invaded by a normal person. And I'm going to. Egon of Kareem, you're going to give my spot away. This is a big invasion area, so I'm not surprised that somebody invaded me. Where are you? I don't want to waste video. I'm waiting for this dude. All right. Anyways. Well, obviously, I would like to fight him without having extra shit to deal with. Mm, uh. Oh, there he is. gonna run trying to get the NPCs to get involved and then he heals what a turd man you invaded me hey people do that Oh, that was such a parry. That was such a fucking parry. This guy has high bleed resist because he's 
for blood by now. He's gonna go heal again. He's gonna run away and heal. Yep. What? Ever, dude. I so had that backstab. See, he's trying to get. Uh, I'm, he's running out of. He, he's either out of heals. Didn't hit me. Oh, he did bleed. He's just not bleeding a lot. You and your bullshit is right hander. Alright. <laughs> See, I, there's a, there's like a there is a unspoken rule in Dark Souls that if you invade somebody else, um, if you're not five, you don't heal. You invade, you fight. If you die, you die. If you kill the other person, then good for you. But if you invade, you shouldn't be healing. Neither should the person that, that you invade did. So if he, somebody invades me and I fight them, I choose to fight them. I'm not going to use my heals. They're not going to use their heals. And we're just going to fight. We're going to go at it. That's the way it is. And I hate people that are like, man, yeah, no, I'm going to heal. And I'm going to run around and, and then and lag hit you too. He would, Like there were swings where he was hitting me where it wasn't hitting me. It wasn't actually in my hitbox and for some reason my bleed was doing little to no damage to him it should have been it should have been doing a lot but oh well such is life so we're gonna go in here and tell this guy to shut the hell up did I grab the staff I didn't So, um, I would love to, I gotta, I have Rage on my, uh, computer, but it doesn't play very well, because I have a shitty laptop. Um, my laptop's better for editing than it is for playing games, um, so, uh, I want to do a full Rage playthrough to show you guys why I critiqued Rage 2 the way I did, so it makes more sense to people. Um, but I have to wait until I get a better computer. Um... Plus, I want to also do Dark Souls, all these Dark Souls mods. I'd love to do those for you guys. Um, but. I, I hate when I. We can just not even worry about those guys. So, what I was talking about with the cheese for these two guys here is all you gotta do. Now, I can fight them one on one with throwing knives. But there is an easier way to, to kill these guys, and that is to just do this. So, come over here. There he goes. Oh, now I'm dead. I killed one. That's how you kill them, though. You get them to kind of fall off the ladder. 
Um, you go up the ladder. I don't think you actually try to punch them. I think you go on the ladder, go up the ladder, and then they get confused and they kind of just fall off. So I killed one. We're going to run across the swamp. We're going to cut right here. Oh, we need to go over here anyways. There's some items we missed. In here. Bleed. Dead. Man, those guys are so much easier with this with this weapon. So this might be a good PvE weapon. I haven't gotten it up fully upgraded yet. Is that that's gotta be lighter, right? Sorcerer set. 4.1. Those are lighter. Those are even lighter. Those are lighter. There we go. Rocking the sorcerer set. Get that. Because we are using a great sword. That's the other reason I, I you gotta keep that in mind. Is I'm using a great sword, so I wanna. I want to uh, try to keep my my weight down because I don't want to have to use like a half ring or something like that. All right, come here, Mr. Crab. Let's see how we do against you. Oh. Bad timing. Drink. There we go. How'd that hit? Oh, his arm hit me. I'm like, what the hell? I back. Crabs, I don't think, bleed, but you want to try to get him to that stagger so you can kill him. Alright, the other crab, I, I'll get him in a little while. Don't worry about him. So, there's the first item. Up for, up for dibs. Hey! I said shit. Get my souls. That's how you kill those guys. Hey, we got the money to go do that. This is a long, this is a long ass video. Damn. This is going to take forever to upload. Um, there it is. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I can, I can rest right here. Actually, this is where we'll end the video, too. I want to do the Crystal Sages, but... Uh, last, I'm not going to do them on this video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, please share this with at least 15 people you know. You'd be doing me a huge favor. Because um, then those 15 people share it and so on and so on and so on. And I become popular. And that's the ultimate goal, right? Is to try to get my subscription base up. Um, I love you all. And uh, again, stay tuned to the channel I got I got some giveaways uh, coming up at one tomorrow and I might have a couple of uh, steam cards to give away too I, I'm waiting on to find out about them so uh, yeah stay tuned guys uh, and I will see you guys on the next video oh wait wait do the thing hey face the camera there we go